Hey everyone, it is Valve. Welcome back to Moramori. In the last one, we made it here to Pyrefly Forest. And, um, we, we got a bunch of minecart tracks to, to help repair this. And I think we have them all at this point. So let's double back, jump in the minecart, and see what happens. If we're not done with the minecart track, this is going to be uh, a long time to wait <laughs> while it sends us all the way back. Yo, it's picking up speed! Let's go! Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. This is also looking like it is the way forward. Um... Pink castle, so we're gonna find our teddy bear in there. But I am going to head back. Can I? No. Because there was more parts of that forest that I wanted to explore. Such as this present. Mush? My lifelong dream has always been to be eaten and enjoyed. We, uh, sure. Ah! <laughs> Not what I expected. Um, I'm gonna be real. Rare bear, huh? Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's treat this as if it's a boss. And try to make it as less threatening at... Hmm. Interesting. And how much health is it? It's possible. Um. Okay, attack can't go any lower. All right. Uh, we wasted all of heroes. Uh, juice though. Which is a bit of a shame. Do we have any food that heals... ...everything? 60 to all friends. Yeah, we'll use the fries. I think we can do that. And then you just need... Yeah, have, have some apple juice. Yo, he's happy now. So he should stop being so dangerous to us. Unless he gets a critical hit. Let's look at here, because I seem to recall that healing her as well. Oh, that makes her happy, though. So it gets rid- that's fine. The healing was more important. Oh, he makes himself angry, huh? Well, Amori, it's time to make yourself sad. Wait, if he wastes a turn making himself happy each time, then we can just do this, can't we?
we'll only be able to do it for so long until he runs out of, until uh, Cal runs out of juice. But at the very least, we can make him waste turns like this. Yeah, we can do it one more time, and then we're gonna go back to making Aubrey uh, angry. Yeah, that's how we do it. Aubrey, come on. Alright, now we can have Aubrey head, but may as well, right? Hero, I'm just gonna have you preemptively snack time. Because you attack last anyway, right? No longer have enough juice to, to stab. Oh no. Well, you may as well attack then. Uh, let's make Aubrey <laughs> furious. That's just a damn shame. Well, we're gonna win this battle and Aubrey's not getting the experience, unfortunately. Yep. That's a shame. It's only 300 experience. She'll survive. Why'd the bear attack me? <laughs> what the hell, man? I don't particularly want to fight this thing. Um, so I'm not. There we go. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, that's where the, um, the cat spider was. We'll go to that in just a second. But first... We shall eat the single block of tofu. Now we'll go and fight the cat spider. I'm terrified, truth be told. I'm not fighting that bear again. <laughs> that was an accident. Uh, I thought he, I was going to be able to talk to him. Uh, and instead he uh, tore my face off. Which is not, not what I wanted. What happens if we do this? The cat follows. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, okay, so we're, we're basically trying to just get through without incident then. I understand. And if the cat spider catches us, it sends us all the way back. Okay, so if we want that item, we gotta... No, you don't. A faux tail. Not a real tail, just 15 speed. Um, that might be worth it for Kel. Because of his, of his running gun. Now we sneak past. Go, 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 go. Hi. A stump. 
That sure is a stump. Is there anything up here? Or is it just more cat? That's just other cat. Okay. Alright, then what's, uh... Excuse me. No, 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 no. Hey, Basil. I'm just here for the... The magical bean. The hat man? <laughs> Did we take too much Benadryl? Like, what's going on? Uh, what, what do the magical bean do? Is that a snack? Is that important? Is that a toy? What is the magical bean? Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Okay. Um. So, I guess we need to figure out which is the correct thing to go through. I'm just trying to see if there's like any identifying things. Um, nothing I can parse. Like it could be some, it could be like something about the plants in front of each of the the caves. But I don't know. Yep. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. There was a... a guy over here. Ghost Bunny. I'm gonna wait to run and gun just because I want to use Kel's follow-up AoE. They're fast. It was with Hero, yeah? There we go. Uh, not so threatening. That said, Kel, we'll have you run and gun on this one, because we're focus firing this one, you see. Fifty-two. It's still not, like, tremendously powerful. So I suppose, like, that's just, that's an attack you, you use after you've built up Kel's speed, like, massively. Because right now it's just like an extra 15 points of damage, whatever, right? Not worth the juice. Trying to lose yourself, or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here. To finish the job. Terrifying. But yeah, be that that being the case, we're gonna bring hit, uh, Rebound back. Usually we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. 
Nah. Mm, looks like that's the same. So perhaps over here. You're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not one to tell. I can't wait to get, like, a non-standard game over for this. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. That's the same. That's also the same. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding away from the right way. The right way? You picked up a pearl. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's the most certainly not the right way? Because uh, it's f fun. I'm exploring. There is an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that. Like this forest. Lost. Well, that's profound, buddy. Sometimes when we hide things from ourselves, we create, di we create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet, or are you still lost? The journey is too arduous for those faint of heart. Do you wish to leave, children? I will not blame you. Nah. Forget all you will or try to. Darkness manifests when you are aware or not. Hide the inhabitable behind ignorance and watch... Yeah, how you fall, how you lie fall. I, I, I do not wish to leave. No, I am exploring. I'm having a great time. Your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? As, as long as necessary. The darkness surrounds you. Your truth, how much longer can you keep it? Again... As many times as necessary. The darkness around. Okay, so it, it sounds like he's just repeating. I wonder if you just go down the path that the ghost bunny's hiding. Or protecting, rather. Like, is it down... Do we go this way? Like, this is new. Or this is back to the, the pearl thing. Is this all we got here? What's up here? Oh, that's new. The dark. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. The darkness surrounds us. Uh, the ghost bunny was protecting this path. Now it's protecting this path. Got anything new to say? No. Alright. Mm, nothing more down here. In which case, behind you? I'm worried that this is going to be a boss fight, because I have not saved. I probably should have, because it gave you a save point. Um, but I'm stupid. You have reached the end of the Lost Forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there existed only two. The Dreamer and his room. The Dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. 
walking the path as a visitor to these worlds. The dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet, despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence was never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer, couldn't, the dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of. Something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance, only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be an inevitability, the dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. <gasps> H. I mean, that's obviously, like, Amori's obviously the dreamer, right? So he's just telling the story of, like, basically Amori burying his trauma and trying to forget about it and creating his friends here for, like, a place that he can try and belong, right? But the exact specifics remain to be seen, I think. Y yeah? Alright, well... Let's return. Uh, hey, spider cat. Yeah, that's fine. What happens if I just leave them here? Mori, I could probably use a little help here. Alright, we'll let you go, hero. Uh, Amori, I think you're forgetting somebody? Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, Cal. Where are you going, Amori? Please don't leave me here. Nah. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Interesting. You know what? Let's uh look at Fofax. We've 
got a couple of these. The sneeziest of all bunnies. Likes to hide in bookshelves and under the bed. Seems a little shy. We're missing one thing here. Mixtape. <laughs> a relic of the past. It seems awfully cheerful despite its impending fall in, into obscurity. I used to collect these a while ago. So this is where they all went. An ancient form of accessing computer networks. Makes a horrible ear-piercing noise when used. Yeah, I love the dial-up noise, though. 10 out of 10. Ah, uh, the sound reminds me of the good old days. The revived spirit of a boombox. A portable method of transporting lo loud noises. An aerial predator capable of swooping up unsuspecting passengers at mock speed. You'll never know where you'll end up once you board a shark plane. It's actually an arthropod. It likes cold temperatures and rolls down steep hills for amusement. The hobby has gained so much traction that they now hold a yearly hill rolling competition. Oh hell yeah, that sounds fun. It would uh, break my bones at my advanced age of not that old to be real um <laughs> old enough that i got bad knees um but it still sounds fun warning do not provoke do not show weakness warning do not provoke explodes when cornered but why do they explode who planted this here anyway hostile bunny spirits yearning for revenge they're still kind of cute, though. Kick snow at you and angry, capable of creating the world's smallest. I do remember that. A mysterious boy obsessed with wind conditions. He's usually seen in the floating forest, flying his kite and mumbling something about the weather. A strange kite. It seems to possess a life of its own. The third planet from the sun. Its surface is mostly covered in water and people. Error. The fierce alter ego of Captain Space Boy. Captain of the Space Pirates. He comes out when Captain Space Boy is angry. Commands the planets of the solar system, but the heart of no one. Damn, get his ass, Amori. Still a lot of enemies remaining to fight. Alright, let's... Now that we're done with that, uh... I don't... Particularly want to fight you. Let's continue on. Let's actually go to the pink, the pink castle... Uh, we've put that off long enough now. Going into the Lost Woods. Oh! Never mind. Uh, fat, uh, uh, excuse me. Basil! Are you here? Basil! Where are you? It doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey look, it's Mari. Mari! Mari! Oh, hello everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I... I was so scared. Aww. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, it's times like these I really wish Basil was here. You could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero, you're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> it's true. You never do know what the future brings. Uh, yo, shop. Shopkeep. Uh, let's, let's buy some life jam, actually. We've ran a bit low. We can buy, not 10 of them, but we can buy some tasty soda as well. 9 out of 10 dentists hate it. 
There we go. All right. Um, I'm going to run it and get the joke book real quick. Yeah, I'll wait here for Pluto. Beep. 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 Here we are by the by the couch. Yeah, the restaurant on the moon, there's great food, but no atmosphere. But um Excellent! You recorded the joke in your joke book. Alright. Well, let's go find the other one then. Yeah, that should be in, in the the fields, I think. I, I seem to recall that being the location. Wrong way. Oh, there was an <laughs> there's an item down here I missed. And looks like a quest with the uh, with the scarecrow. Yeah, we're we're getting ambushed <laughs> by <laughs> by these guys. Kel, take care of it. Okay. So, uh, what what you got for me? Ah, stranger. Thank you for having the time to talk with me. I apologize, but I'm afraid I must burden you with a task I cannot complete with my own capabilities. Quite recently and suddenly, a rogue planet burst across the sky at an alarmingly fast pace. My three dearest friends panicked and flew off in separate directions. My three friends are crows, you see, and are not the most friendly nor welcoming of creatures. I'm a bit wary to ask such an immense favor from a complete stranger, but there aren't many who pass through these fields. If I may ask, would you be willing to help me find my dear friends? Sure. Oh, thank you, stranger. So I wouldn't have found these without Pluto being unlocked anyway, I don't think. Words cannot begin to express what this means to me. Now I shall wait their return patiently, for as you can see, without them, I am just a stick in the mud. So we're looking... Please leave me alone. I see the joke place, but yeah, so we're looking for crows then. Will they be here in the fields, or is it like... A quest I'll have to undertake for a long time. Anyway, here's the joke, the joke book place. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because outstanding in his field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't move, we won't have an encounter. <laughs> anyway, I guess I should explore this field to look for the crows first, just in case they're gone elsewhere. Oh my god, these oranges are going to drive me insane. Wait, hold on, I think... Yep, okay, they're, they're here in the field. Well, now I gotta go find my way to him. Hello! The crow doesn't want to talk to you. Perhaps if you were someone more charming, First of all, fuck you. Hey, buddy. You want me to take you back to your friend, Mr. Scarecrow? Ah! Yes, yes, where's my friend? Take me to him. Well, there were three of those, right? So now we have two more to find. The Scarecrow was, like, to the right of us, so... First, we're gonna get ambushed by the shark plane, <laughs> and then we're gonna continue on. That's not who I wanted to pass to. I wanted to pass to Aubrey. Hers does more damage. Actually, I should just save it for Aubrey to look at Amori, because that does a lot of damage. Not that it's too terribly much of a concern in the outer world, I don't think any of these enemies are going to be a threat now that I'm, like, level 14, but still. <laughs> Yo! Power hit! Huh. 
Okay, I'll bite. What is what is power hit? An attack that ignores a foe's defense and reduces that foe's defense. That's pretty okay. Because you do a lot of damage, and then you make it so you don't have to... So, like, then you can use, like, Headbutt for even more damage. Because now he doesn't have defense. That's really good. I, I, I feel like that's pretty good, yeah. Oh, Crow number two. Hey there, little guy. Your friend Mr. Scarecrow really misses you, you know? I can help you find him if you like. Kaka! Please do, if it's not too much of a bother. I miss him too. Alright. One more to find. Alright, we found one on the left and the bottom, so probably top right would be the most likely place. So we'll. We'll go up up to the right and see. Car. Hold on, yep. What I say, I know how distribution works. <laughs> There's gonna be three things to find. They're gonna be arranged in like a triangle. Greetings, my feathered friend. Would you like to return to Mr. Scarecrow? He can't wait to be with you again. Kaka! Ah, uh, yes, that would be immensely desirable. It would be. As would not be... getting Not getting ambushed by these damn oranges would also be immensely desirable for me. Hey, at least we got orange juice out of the deal. Yeah, the scarecrow was right here. So let's go and turn that in. And I think we can switch back to leader. Team leader. I already forget the voice I gave this guy. My friends, they have all returned. I cannot thank you enough for your help. Now it is time for me to take my leave. Goodbye, kind stranger. I hope we will meet again one day. Where are you going? We got a f oh, geez, a five leaf clover. We got a three leaf and then a five cleave. Five cleave? Five leaf. Luck increases with more energy. I don't know what luck affects, really. Um, so that doesn't seem too useful to me. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna do... We're gonna do two more things. We're gonna go... And, uh, turn in the bunny quest, because we almost certainly have killed enough bunnies by now. For at least the next phase of this quest. I don't know if there's another. There very well may be. He might be like, yo, kill 10 million bunnies. I'm gonna be like, man, that's just too many bunnies. I, we, we can't drive them a saint man. And then he'll stare deeply into my eyes. Uh, and then do the Ghost Rider thing on me and turn me to stone because you see I've committed very many sins for killing all of those bunnies. What do you mean the recycling machine dispensed a cell phone? What? 
what what does the cell phone do? Absolutely indestructible. Ah, a Nokia. <laughs> Understood. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go turn in Bunny Quest and tell some jo these two jokes to the the uh, the depressed <laughs> the depressed fairy of the lake. Yo, hey, the line moved. Yo, hello, fellow bunny hater. By looking into your eyes, I can see that you have killed 56 bunnies. Splendid. I see you've destroyed more bunnies. That's 56 bunnies obliterated. You got a rabbit foot. Probably gives you luck. He just wants to destroy more bunnies, but it looks like the thing is over. What's going on here? Hello, sir, madam. Looks like we've run out of train passes, but we still have some lemonade left. 75 juice. Didn't I have a train pass? Didn't, like, Space Boy give me one? Sparkler. Now I'm just curious as to where this leads. Plum juice? Stop right there! You can't pass without a... Whoa, that's a train pass! You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Well... That's an all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Yeah? Interesting. I will come back... Later. Next video, perhaps, to figure out what the- what the hell are you? A mountain. To figure out what's going on there. Um... Because I feel like that's going to take some time. What the- what the hell? Uh... uh Alright. We are... Attacking a tree. I guess. What happened here? Does the tree fight back? Or are we just like... <laughs> destroying nature for no reason? It did nothing. It seems like in order to defeat this thing, we simply need to pierce defense. Which means <laughs> keeping Amori and Aubrey's juice up. Let's, uh, we had something that, yeah, we had a berry sweetie. Do we have anything else that replenishes juice to everyone? No? Okay. I wonder if we keep using Aubrey to lower its defense, will we eventually reach a point where everybody else can deal damage to it. Well, let's make <laughs> Aubrey even angrier then, I suppose. 
just so she's doing more damage. Well, we're going to win. It's just like... Yeah, let's make the tree feel an emotion. The big strong tree can't get angrier. <laughs> the, the defense can't go any lower. Good to know. So Hero and Kel can't do anything. Aside from very lucky rolls on their attacks. This is not how I thought I'd be spending the, the last five minutes of this video, but like, yeah, sure, we killed a, a tree. Oh. Okay. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't want to continue to fight. But that's not my choice, it seems. First, I get ambushed by a tree, and then the bunnies I was trying to walk around anyway. What? Why? I, like, I know I'm probably gonna get an achievement for that. They, they, they haven't been popping up until I, I've exit games. Um, probably because I have myself set to offline right now, just so I don't have, like, friend notifications popping up. Because it's just, like... Oh, I think this is actually faster. Because it's just, like, I don't wanna... <laughs> I don't wanna dox people on my friends list, essentially. So I, I play offline, so I don't have to blur those out in post. But, like... <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> okay, I believe it was over here. Yo! Yeah, I'll throw you ten more clams. I got two bad jokes for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll read Weeping Willow a joke. The contents of this book are too embarrassing to read out loud. Maybe someone older would be able to do it. You called me out here for nothing? Well, hero! Let's talk, let's see the moon joke. Did you hear about the restaurants on the moon? There's great food, but no atmosphere. That joke was so bad. It just makes me want to. Uh, hero! How could you? You hurt her feelings. You hurt her fifis. What about the other joke? The Scarecrow joke. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field! Oh man! <laughs> that joke was really bad, huh? Well... Th thanks for the effort, hero. Um... I'm gonna go back to the park and save. <laughs> 
But yeah, on that note, I guess we'll end things off here. Um, thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And the next one, we're gonna go to the train station, I guess, now that it's open. Put off that main quest some more, why don't you? Basil can wait. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and leaving a like and all that. And until next time, have a fantastic day, alright? See you then.